Who's unlucky fisher eye? It's the magpie. He comes with fishing eye. That's it really. So I don't even know why I started this. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I did. I was laying in the garden looking at the swallows and what am I thinking about them? Oh it's the day bats, isn't it? Watching them just go around. How mashed am I? Well, just I was hoping the squirrel was going to come again, but it didn't. I put walnut in the birdhouse. <laughs> I said it did. It didn't come though. So, I was hoping it would. <laughs> I just had a spider leg, that's all. I just had a... It's cocktails on the lawn. That's all. What's in the spider leg? Uh, spider's limbs? Spider limbs, probably. Look, I've just seen boho fashions coming back in. I'm wearing this old caftan and jumper and my... <laughs> and my... and my sack trousers. I'm just laying here trying not to get bitten by gnats, but at the same time I want them to come so the birds can eat them. Unlucky fish eye. A hawk did come as well. I saw a hawk. And then fish eye Peter came back, but he was hidden. So it was a hidden, it was a hidden story. All up. What was he hidden by? He was hidden by the butterfly bush. I actually don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just, what's it called? It's not Charnipolo, is it? It's, uh, what's it called? I've forgotten. Streaming conscious, that's right. Streaming unconscious, more like. Streaming barely consciousness. A little brown blackbird was sick on that chair earlier on, it was using it like a perch. It's pretty fun. Can you eat those plus flowers off parsnips? I was thinking about battering them and dropping them in in frying them. Bees like them, don't they? But there's a bee on it. I mean, I don't have a fryer, but you could just do it in the, the frying pan and have them like little burgers. What did I have for lunch? I tell you what I had. I had green eggs and ham. <laughs> What's green eggs and ham? I had one. I had. <laughs> I had one chamomile flower and one of those Namisa flowers. That's why all I could manage. And um, I also had a bowl of rice earlier on. With I made some rice. And <laughs> I had red rice and quinoa, red quinoa, um, with nettles. And I put two cacao butts, butter buttons in it. So I had buttons, rice and buttons. Um, and then, what else did I put in it? Some nettles I chopped up, um, and some borage flowers, and <laughs> um, what else did I have in it? Then I put hemp oil on it, and flax oil, and that's what I gave to the dog, and then I put some in the bowl. And I had some seeds on it. And I had 
some charcoal crackers with it. Um, I think that's what I had. And then I had that yogurt with a stick and some strawberries and strawberry dream. Um, and I ate it with a stick. I felt like doing it. I had a spider leg. I don't know if Agatha actually is dead because she came out with less legs, didn't she? And I've not seen her since. So, and then I saw that African huntsman spider on the news in Scotland. So maybe she's she's died and gone there instead, but bigger. It's possible. She may have gone on a travel, man. She. Red arrow went over earlier on. I think it looked like one anyway. But just as I was saying about red ribbons. Which is funny because they have ribbons come out the right, don't they? It didn't. It and it was just by itself. Um, Brother John. It was black and brown. All black and brown. He tied red ribbons over town. Uh, I forgot what happened next. I lost like something about a big fan tweak tweak. And he likes to give the shelves a tweak. Or the shelves. I saw another, but, uh, not butterfly. Actually, I did see two peacock, I think two peacock butterflies just went over the, went over the gate earlier on. So I wonder what that was, because I was hoping they didn't go in the house, because they bring a death, don't they, usually? Signal of death. So there's a death over the gate, but I don't know. Or two deaths, actually. But which gate, I don't know. Um... And a ladybird, that's what, that's what I wanted to do. Who's the tiny blue flower with it just had a, just had a heartbeat, I think. Took the poison. It was a little blue peacock. Peacocks in the garden eat the poison. I don't really know. Bumblebee again. It was so small though, isn't it? It's so small, that tiny. That I've never seen one so small as that. Have I never seen a pea flower before? That's not. Who was that before? Sorry, you I know, it's a blackbird. He's in there poking around. Looking for more raisins, probably. Uh. Hey, it's gone up there. Is it going in the house? going in the blue house. Yes, it is. It's going in. I'm going to poke around. Do you remember that time the one came in the kitchen where I was just sitting and it went out again? It's going to be so much fun, they'll all be coming in soon. I 
Uh, house, I have a house with blackbirds. <laughs> oh, and 20 blackbirds sat with the pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? Who's the king? The green king, probably. I've got a green king. What have I got? A green king beer mat somewhere from years ago. Just to please the Lord. <laughs> Put it in a frame and put it on the wall. I probably could do actually. I haven't really got much done today, apart from you know, be happy. That's all that look. That was my instructions from from the universe today. Just be happy. So I've managed. I've managed to do that, I suppose, for once. Um, <laughs> hopefully, I've dragged one or two more of you along with me for on the happy bus. It's a side fish. You can keep thinking about that. It's the sci fish, the psychic fish. I sci. What's this? I put the radio on. I put it on 999. I just felt like doing it. This beautiful self. I don't know if I can hear it. Hey, it's a beautiful self, 99. The bell boy. That's Brighton, way, isn't it? I said Sussex as well. This is a this is a strange a strange collection of in in what's it called? Coincidence. Portsmouth. Why did I say that? Because that red and white card fell down with a seven on it. I was thinking Pier Seven, but it's uh, that's the colour of the gate. I was thinking it's lighthouse colours. Hey, it's pigeon carrier. Uh, wood pigeon. Colonel Sanders. I don't know why I call them Colonel Sanders, probably because they, um, I would always call pigeons the Colonel, the wood pigeons, because they eat kernels, don't they? It's like when you see magpies, you have to say whatever. Warning General, what some people say, don't they? General Nuisance, probably. Fish eye, what's he called? Unlucky fish eye. Unlucky. I call him, what do we call him? Peeping Peter. Because it's St. Peter, the fish, I. St. Peter's what? St. Peter's... Prophet. <laughs> the lucky lord. I thought you said it was the high priestess. I know, it's one of those squirrel tails probably. It was like seagull, I see it all up. <laughs> He gobbled it up like a what? Like a shortcake. <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you something else as well. There was a seagull flying over because I saw that one, was it yesterday, that flew over with a broken leg, just dangling it around, but he was looking at me at the same time. And, um, <laughs> and then I saw another one flying from the south, well, what I call the south, and um, it had a massive chip in its mouth, I think. It looked like it anyway, it was carrying a chip from somewhere. The funniest, this is when I first started looking at birds deep down, is like I was in Sharon and we went down, this was a few years ago on our bikes, but on the train, and we were down on the seafront, and like at the wall, looking over the sea, outside the two lifeboats or, and um, this seagull flew like right past me at eye level, looking at me, and it was doing bicycle legs. It was pedalling like it was on a bicycle. Well, that's, well, <laughs> that's the most st stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was looking right at me while it was doing it. Like, I've definitely landed somewhere strange today. Jonathan Livingston. T 
哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒。How many strawberries do I have? I think three just off the strawberries, right? Look at this one again, it's funny. Oh, do you know what? I was thinking it looked like two little eyes. It looks like two little boobies with nipples on there, look. I saw there's loads of streaking going on at Glastonbury as well, and everyone was going, hooray, streaking's back in. We've missed this. The 70s were a riot. We get people running over cricket pitches in the nude and all over the tennis. <laughs> It's a good job we've warmed up the children and the Chinese probably to the, <laughs> to the, the sporting life. Uh, what about Ascot? We well, can still wear a hat. <laughs> we'll have more of them over, probably. I really want to fry those flowers, just to try, but I don't know. Oh, maybe that's fine. I haven't had any stations yet, no. I don't fancy them. I don't, I don't feel like I'd manage them on top of anything else. But I do eat them. Sometimes just in a sandwich. I did that last year, didn't I? Um, it'd probably be a year before. Before the for the cabbage whites. I plant them really for the cabbage whites. But four croppers. They're, they're like lily pads. <laughs> I've made crochet sticks out of drumsticks before. That's probably why I got those ones upstairs. I was thinking about that earlier on. Old oh, knitting needles you can use that, can't you, as well? Um, still thinking about Just thinking about it. I'll tell you what else I was thinking about doing as well, was making actually making a French lavender basket out of the French lavender. Um, but I don't really want to cut, cut the heads off it. Well, it's not French lavender, is it? French lavender is the bunny one. Oh, God. Isn't it? Are you going to read a book? Which book? Cider with Rosie. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's a slow walk. A slow walk through madness. Who wrote so I can't remember who wrote G H Warmsy. <laughs> I can't remember who wrote Cider with Rosie. Tell me, Wormington. What was his name? I wish you were here. I wish you were here and you could drone on about it to me. You could read it out loud. It would be so nice. I could just lay here with my eyes closed, listening to your droning voice. <sighs> Pretending I was asleep. And then just laughing indiscriminately. 
and having to explain what it was in the story that had just come out and made me think of something else. Um, the pigeon. <sighs> in the cup. That's a white dove, isn't it? Two swallows. Two crowns. Just keep walking, just keep walking through the garden. I'm not sure it was the pine leaves that gave me indigestion yesterday. I am actually, because I've had them before. Um, pine leaf, you just cut, chew a couple occasionally. Pine fresh. Um, oh, that's what I was talking about, wasn't it? Uh, um, my rice I had for lunch, I had figs again, but because they gave me indigestion yesterday, what I did was cut them open, those dried figs, scraped out the seeds like jam, and put them on the rice. I nearly spread them on the crackers. And then I'm soaking the skins in a glass. And then I might eat them, use them like ham later on. Or slices of lamb. And fry them. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like being a French peasant. <sighs> 70s are back, you know. I just read it. The fashion... The, the bohemian living. The French floating scarves and things like that. The scarves on the wall. Um, the little blackbird. Singing in the summer sky. Toilet water. Eau de toilet. Be happy. Slow the pace down. Everyone will be waif like. We won't mind about we won't mind about the more serious lockdown then, will we? that's coming. We'll be grateful for it, won't we? Won't we? What's it, your name again? Jeremy Hunt. <laughs> Stop us going out. Stop us going out. Oh, I know to go anyway. And no motivation. The planet needs rest after the weekend. <sighs> to catch all those spiders. We've had one practice. What are we going to do about the coal shortage in the winter? Pray it's not too cold, maybe. It's going to be freezing. Um, knit woolen socks. I was okay last year. I had no heating, did I? Um, what about cooking? I tell you what I did a lot of last year when I wasn't able to cook. I was eating jacket potatoes off the market. Um, hunker down, I suppose. The other thing to do would be, I'll tell you what I was thinking about doing, because I was talking about the black earlier and what to do with all those, and then I thought afterwards, you know what, I'm such a fool, make a jam, blackberry jam. You don't have to cook that, do you, in the winter? You can just slather it on bread or... Um, what else can you eat if you've got nothing to cook? No way of cooking. It won't be that bad. Um, i tell you what else I might do. I might make a, a wood burner that I can use outside. I make a little stove and I'll sit in the garden in the snow 
burning something and cooking over that. Um, what else might I do if it's cold? Um, do all the snooze now? Um, what else? Oh yeah, pickles. That's the other thing you have to make, isn't it? Ready for the winter. For Yule. Pickled eggs. Somebody's got loads of eggs, haven't they? They can pickle them already. Ready? I've done pickled eggs before. Oh, I've gone over. I'm going to run out of time. 